Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, we're going to create a number guessing game using JavaScript. So why don't you go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, let's get started, everybody. So the first thing that we're gonna need is to set the minimum and the maximum numbers in our number guessing game. So we'll create two constants. Const min num for the minimum. I will set my minimum to be one, but feel free to pick a different number if you would like. Then a maximum const max num i will set my maximum to be 100. so what we got to do is generate a random number between our minimum and our maximum inclusively so let's create another constant const answer then we'll generate a random number between 1 and 100 our minimum and our maximum to do that we can type math.random the random method of math will generate a random number between 0 and 1 we will multiply this by, within a set of parentheses, the range between our maximum minus our minimum. Then add plus one. Let's see what we have so far. Just to test everything, I'm going to console.log our answer. Okay, let's inspect, go to console. Here's my answer currently. 56 point and then a bunch of decimal places after. I will round our answer by enclosing this equation with math.floor to round down. Okay, let's see what we get again. 39, 89, 20, 71, 27, 17, 46. Okay, that seems like it's working. What if we have a higher minimum? Let's say between 50 and 100. Well, I have 7, 22, 43, numbers that are below our minimum. So if we have a minimum besides one, I will add to the end of this equation, our minimum again. Okay, let's see if that works. So if I need a random number between 50 and 100, this equation should work. 97, 80, 79, 52. All right, that seems like it's working. So this is the equation you'll need to generate a random number between your minimum that you set and your maximum. But let's change our minimum back to one and make sure our maximum is 100. All right, let's move on to step two. We'll create a variable named attempts to keep track of the attempts it takes a user. I will set attempts to be zero and let guess. I will declare this variable, but not assign it quite yet. We'll take care of that later. I will also create a Boolean variable named running, and I will set this to be true. The reason that we have the Boolean variable running is so that we can exit the game when it's over we'll set running to equal false. So to keep the game running, we'll use a while loop while running equals true. Now, if this is a Boolean variable, you don't necessarily need this portion equals true. You can just set this to be while running. While this Boolean is true, keep the game going. Then when we want to exit the game, we will set running to equal false. So that will be at the end. Now we need to accept some user input. I'll do this with the window prompt. We will set our guess to equal window.prompt. I'll use a template literal. Guess a number between, I'll add a placeholder, our minimum through, add another placeholder, our maximum. All right, to test this, I'm going to console.log the type of guess, as well as what guess is. There's something I need to show you. Guess a number between one and 100. I'll guess something right in the middle, 50. Let's inspect, go to console. So my user input of 50 is a string data type. We'll need to convert it to a number for comparisons. So after we get our guess, Let's reassign it and typecast it as a number type. Let's try that again. Guess a number between one and 100. I'll type 50. Okay. Inspect console. We have our guess of 50 and it's a number data type. What if you were to type in something that wasn't a number like a string of characters such as pizza? Here's the result. If you typecast some characters that are non-numeric, you know the number zero through nine, you'll end up with not a number. Pizza can't be converted to a number, unfortunately. 
I will delete this line of code. We no longer need it. I'll add an if statement. There's a function to check to see if something is not a number. Is not a number function. If our guess is not a number, if this evaluates to be true, let's add an alert. Window dot alert. Please enter a valid number. Guess a number between 1 and 100. What if I type pizza? Please enter a valid number. Now, what if somebody types in a guess that's below our minimum or above our maximum? I'll add an else if statement. Else if our guess is below our minimum or our guess is above our maximum. Will window.alert please enter a valid number again? Guess a number between 1 and 100. What if I type in 150? That's above our maximum. Please enter a valid number. Please enter a number between 1 and 100. Negative 1. Please enter a valid number. If the user's guess is a number, and it's between our range, between the minimum and the maximum, we'll execute an else statement. If they reach the else statement, that means they have a valid number. We'll increase our attempts variable by 1. Attempts plus plus to increment it. If the guess, if the guess is less than the answer, then will window.alert too low. Try again. Else if the guess is greater than the answer, will window.alert to Hi, try again. If the guess isn't lower than the answer and the guess isn't higher than the answer, that means the guess must equal the answer. Within an else statement, we'll congratulate the user. They have the right answer. Window dot alert. Correct. The answer was and I should probably use a template literal for this if we're inserting variables. The answer. We'll let the user know how many attempts it took. It took you the variable attempts, then the word attempts. At the end of our else statement, we'll move running equals false to within the else statement at the end to exit the game. We no longer want to play once we have the correct answer. All right, and this should work. Let's try it. Guess a number between 1 and 100. I'll guess something right in the middle, 50. Too low, try again. OK, so the answer is between 50 and 100. 75? Too high. So it's between 50 and 75. 62? Too low. 68? Too high. So it's between 62 and 68. 65, too high. 63, too low. 64, yeah, correct. The answer was 64. It took you seven attempts. And we can exit. All right, everybody, so that is a number guessing game in JavaScript.